What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you Jaden's one year lock update with his two strand twist starter locks. But before we get into today's video, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification button so that you will never miss an upload every Sunday at 5 p.m. And also, if you would like to support my channel, then please feel free to join the ad gang by participating in watching the ads which are displayed on my channel as this really helps me out. Okay, so let's get into it. So on January 20th, 2019, Jaden's locks turned one year old and if you would like to see his installation process, then be sure to click the link above so that you could have a visual understanding of the progress he's had throughout the past 12 months. Okay, so during his first year of his lock journey, you would have seen some of the videos where I've shared his first retwisting session, getting rid of buildup in his locks and giving you all a six month check in on the development of his locks. In today's video, I will be giving you an update on all those things as well as speaking on one of the main concerns some people have when starting locks on younger children. Now, one of the major concerns some people usually have when starting locks on younger children is thinning edges. People fear that because the child is still growing, over time as their head continues to develop, this will affect the hairline causing the edges to be strained and grow thin. But as you can see here, Jaden's hairline is still intact after one year of locks. Now some people may argue that the thinning will occur over a longer period of time but that isn't necessarily true. For example, take a look at these photos of my oldest son's locks after having his dreads for five years. When I started his locks, he was only four years old and I would wash and maintain his locks on a two weekly to monthly basis and there were no issues with his locks or his hairline. I personally believe that the thinning of the edges comes down to a few factors which can include but are not limited to applying too much tension to the hairline when retwisting, pulling the hair in very tight hairstyles, brushing or combing the edges too harshly or even just having low hair density around the edges which can appear as though the hairline is thinning. But as you can see from these photos and the footage in this video, starting locks on younger children doesn't mean the child's hairline will be impacted in a negative way. It all comes down to how their hair is cared for during the process. Now, my main concern for Jaden's locks during his first year was the buildup, which I've shared with you all in a previous video, which will be linked above for you to go and check out. In that video, I showed you how I went about getting rid of some of the buildup in his locks, but in today's video, I've decided to try the ACV soap on his locks to give his hair and scalp a thorough cleanse at his one year mark. And surprisingly, the ACV soap didn't get rid of those stubborn buildup inside his locks as I suspected and this is the reason why I had chosen to cut the locks around the edges of my hairline when I had experienced that episode of excessive buildup after taking down my box braids. Personally, I think ACV soaks or rinses are good for cleaning the surface of the locks and the scalp. But in regards to the stubborn buildup that's embedded in the hair, I think that will require more effort. So after his ACB soak, his hair was washed, conditioned, oiled and moisturized. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my videos is how long does it take for the hair to lock? Now, as I've mentioned to each person who's asked this question, this all depends on your unique hair texture. Although you may have four type hair, some people with this hair can take longer to lock than others, or some with a looser texture can lock sooner than others. But in the case of Jaden's hair, his hair was already fully locked before his first year.
if you check out the link above to have a more detailed look at his six months lock update video you will see that at the six month mark the look of a two strand twist was still visible in his hair so i would say certainly between month six to twelve his hair was fully locked also at this stage of his lock journey he has very minimum frizz in comparison to my locks when i was at this stage so again this shows that not because our hair types are similar we will have the same results The final thing I would like to touch on for Jaden's one year lock update is the growth of his hair during these past 12 months. Now after retwisting his locks, I sat and observed the length of his hair and realized a noticeable difference between his first retwist video, his 6 months lock update and this one. Do you like your hair? Yes. <laughs> you say mommy is a goose goose? <laughs> Thank you for my locks. Thank you for your locks. You're welcome, baby. Alright, let's go. Where are you going right now? School. Okay, let's go to school. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as share this content to show some love and support if you did. So until next week, Sunday at 5 p.m., we will be right back here with another video. Bye.